Hot dog. It's a brand new week. It's Monday. And uh, I've spent some time this weekend designing the trim around the exterior door. I think it's going to look pretty good when it's done. Um, I, I've kept it kind of the same style as the rest around the window trim things. And um, yeah. I think this place is going to look a lot different by the time this week's over. Hopefully we got some uh, paneling on the wall too. So, this is going to look like. And I'm just realizing that I got to take off a bunch of stuff in order to actually make this happen today. I guess I might as well start taking this temporary thing apart. I'm not going to put the permanent door in until I'm all done with the inside. I mean, that's kind of like the last thing I'm going to put on, but I'm tempted to put it on now just to be done with it. I don't know. No, I'm going to scratch that thing up a thousand times before I'm done with this project if I put it in now. That and it's a door ordered from Home Depot, so it's not like I can just go pick up another one like it, you know? So I'll wait until I'm all done. I got I got to put up the columns first, the one on that side and the one on that side, and then I'll put the header on up, up above and, and kind of get the frame going. And then, yeah, anyway, let's get to it. Hello! Hello? Are you there? No? I, uh, what? Are you there? I'm here. Okay, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> well, then we're both here. That's your normal? <laughs> I was kind of expecting a who's there, but instead I got a, I'm here. You're there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we got that thing back on. We got to seal this place up before the night falls. That's basically the layout, a column on each side and then a header on top with the same angle as the ceiling. So that's a start. I got to get some other pieces cut, but that's going to be basically the layout of, of the face of the trim piece. And then I'm going to have your life house. Right in there. With a light behind it. <laughs> My sister thought the light was maybe a little over the top and that that was gonna look like really Vegas-y. Uh, but I'm thinking we're okay. Thinking we're okay. Well, time to call it a night. I'm whooped. Monday out. I think I got, oh. lasered out so I got the angle right I think I think I got the angle right for this thing thinking creatively and problem-solving skills is pretty much a requirement for building a house I'm just saying kind of looks like the entry to a saloon but that, that's not what it is <laughs> so I basically cut each piece to the right length and then I just traced it out from each little corner and then I think got the right angle so let's let's cut this beast up oh and I found the middle by measuring the middle there and then doing a, a, a parallel line to the bottom and then obviously centering everything on the middle so yeah Cheers! Ah. 
And there it is. So now we got to make a frame behind it and all that jazz. I guess we just keep going. So the frame is built. Basically, what I'm going to do is put this guy right there, just, just on the back of these panels now. Uh, and then I'll have a frame for the back, basically holding this whole panel thing together. I'm going to put another 2x4 up the middle here and, and uh, just to you know, stiffen it up a little bit. And then the edges will be uh, supported in another way. So I'm making it happen. We're basically done with today. We got tons of more to do, but you know, it's only so much time in a day. All right, Christmas is coming soon, guys. Christmas is coming. Yes, I want to be done by Christmas, but you know, time flies. Well, we're done for the day. Tuesday out. Got the day off, so let's see if we can get some of that front door thing going. Let's get something done. That actually turned out like the drawing. Uh, well, I'm not done yet, and it's not painted, but it's a start. Oh, and check out the window. Getting that side trim on really made a difference, huh? As compared to that one without the side trim yet. Huge difference. Sure made a difference, huh? The windows look a lot more complete now. I had to test fit the light. Yes, there's going to be a light. And that little void up there is going to say your life house. I know, right? It's a little Vegas, but I like it. <laughs> it works! Okay, now it's Vegas. <laughs> So the whole idea is to have the sign plate come back to here and then the lights right behind it and I'll put plexiglass right behind the holes in the piece of wood and then this will shine up the edge of that and basically make an even spread of light. That's the thought. Don't know if that's going to work but that's the hope. And then I got to put something back here that's black. Um, just so that I don't get this stuff shining through. Well, this is the cool part of the building this house. Uh, yeah, I know, the rest is fun too, but it's when I start doing the tech stuff, that's when I'm really gonna have fun with this project. <laughs> right. I love this kind of stuff. Now, to hide the cables. Uh, I got to drill through the wall up here and then get that into the attic and then plug the, the wall wart into a receptacle upstairs. Norwegian electrical law states that I can't have that thing hidden anywhere so I got to have it out in plain view. Uh, I don't want it on the front porch so then that means the upstairs is the only other option. Everything else is closed up. so Not that I'd want it in the hallway either but I guess the upstairs is fine.
think that's some of the coolest things we've done. Uh, we actually managed to get the, the stock cable for the Philips Hue uh, strip light through this piece of conduit and then into the attic without even cutting it. So that is super cool. Super stock. I like it. Well, that's progress. I'm kind of liking it. It looks really Vegas, but I like it. So now to finish the little uh, trim pieces over there on, on the sides, that's gonna be a weekend thing. Uh, it's kind of similar to this one, except those are gonna be way wider. So uh, to kind of resemble the width of this. So pretty, pretty good size, eight, nine inches. All right, we're done for the night. Bye. Good night. It's Friday and I'm downstairs. You know what that means? Stairs. We're gonna see if we can get that one stringer up and then maybe the other one too, we'll see. I'm gonna put up the time-lapse camera because I, all right, so I broke my tripod. Broke it, just snapped it in half. So, I got another one ordered, but it ain't here yet. Until I get it, I gotta figure out another way to take a video. So, time-lapse camera it is. So, it's gotta find it, I don't know where it is. So it's uh, Saturday. We've got to make some adjustments for the stairs so that we can get that back plate on. And that's today, plus the entryway. So that's the plan. Let's get to it. So let's see if we can drill through, uh, straight through, and hit the other side. Tim, this one's for you. We've done this before.
There it is. <laughs> Yes. Ta da! I think that should be good. I'm thinking that's strong enough. So we got six bolts there, and then we're gonna do a plate on the back of this to kind of stiffen it up. There's a little bit of height difference here, so maybe we'll just put a plate or something back here and straighten it up a little bit. But that works. We're basically sandwiching this uh, floor joist between these two plates, quarter inch steel, and uh, fastening this uh, by virtue of welding here, and then we're going to weld it to this plate and probably put a plate on top. So, should be good. I don't think it's going to fall down. I'm going to drive a train down this thing. <laughs> We got a light going. Well, just testing it, just test fitting it. Um, that's where it's gonna be. So I'll have another one over there somewhere. So. So we got power coming out of the wall right there and we got two conduits going up to this header so we got spots for two lights my dad's the uh paneling expert so he's uh, well on his way up the wall now i have to finish that thing now that i've fitted the lights and so i've got to finish the header and, and make it so that he can continue up the wall or that so we can continue up the wall the goal is to finish this wall today i don't know if that's going to happen but that's the ultimate goal anyway so we don't have that much left but gosh it's getting hot today see you start out with really freezing cold and then summer all of a sudden i love it who's to complain So now we got the backer for the top. This is what a construction this is. It's looking pretty cool. So we got the ventilation thing all the way back there, and we got the Phillips chute thing down there. I'm gonna have to find a place to mount that a little more permanently, but um, yeah. So we're gonna have a board coming in here on an angle, and then another one overlapping and going in the rest of the way so that we have a way for the water to get away. If there's ever water in this thing, there won't be.
Alright, so here we go. Lite längre fram. Alright. So there we go. That's the general idea. And then I'm going to have another piece in front, in front of here. That's going to be kind of like the cap for the top. So that'll work. That'll be all right. You know, I'm pretty sure that template is about as good as they're gonna get. I mean, it's not perfect, but but it's not a piece of furniture, right? It's not like I'm doing Japanese joinery here. That, I mean, this is probably as about as close as we're gonna get. So off to make the final piece. This is just a template. Well, that'll be fun to see if it'll actually fit. The template looks okay. It fit perfect and so should that and it's the right length so I don't know let's find out well once I get some silicone on this it should be fine I mean I missed a little right here but it's not enough to the point where I have to redo it, so. I'm happy with that. Well, we're almost done with the crazy thing. Looks kind of weird at the end, but it, you know, it'll probably all be fine once I'm done with it. And... The light's still hanging in here. So, uh, Thinking I'm gonna put some more fasteners at the top here just so that the strip doesn't fall down. I'm thinking it might I don't know. I mean the 3m glue is pretty good, but I don't know I'm also gonna have to put some sort of a trim piece around the front around like around the corner Because um, I don't want this edge here to show I'm picky I know it doesn't matter plus there's a little damage here so instead of just sanding down the edge and make this even more visible I'm just gonna put a corner profile on here and just be done with it I think that's gonna look okay all right well that was a Saturday thanks for watching project your life house I don't know I'm doing some things that well this hasn't been done before it's a brand new thing I designed it I made it it's all mine nobody else has got one like it I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want to have the same stuff everybody else got. So, I'm doing my own house. And I think it started to dawn on me that this is my place. I, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. It's just weird that I have my own house. So, all right. Thanks for watching the project. Thanks for keeping up on it. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Welcome all you new guys. Cool. Still hard for me to believe that somebody would actually take time out of their day and watch my project but happy to have you saturday's over this week's over till next week saturday out